Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to do a tilt shift blur using a dedicated filter in Affinity Photo version 2. There are some folks still doing this effect with the like old manual method, but there is actually a dedicated filter now when you can apply a proper tilt shift blur. We can even modify some settings using sliders. So that's really nice. Here I am in the program and before we start let me just show you this old method I mentioned in case you need to know that. So the old method usually referred to making a duplicate of the photo so we make a copy of that and then you completely blur this copy so we can go to our blurs and applying like just a simple blur to the whole picture. All right and then we got this blur image. And what we want to do is we want to mask this image so the center of it will be transparent. This way we can see the original photo a layer below, right? So if I apply a mask, then I can use a brush. This brush needs to be really large and like semi hard, not too soft, but cannot be very hard. We need a very blur edge. So actually, Let's go with like 30% hardness on this guy. A bit too big, but I can use brackets on my keyboard to modify the size. All right. And then while holding shift, you make this a horizontal stroke. And that should kind of give us this uh, tilt shift light effect. So there's a blur top and the blur bottom and the center is masked out so we can see the original image on the layer below. So that's kind of the old way. Let's get rid of that. All right, let's try to do it with a dedicated filter. So filter menu at the top, blurs as you can guess, and then you look at it and you cannot see a proper uh, tilt shift filter here. Nothing like that. So you may assume we need to do it manually and then you refer to the old method I just show. But let's wait a moment. Take a look. There is a depth of field blur. That's the one we want to use. You know, click on that. It will get this a circle in the center because in this mode, we kind of blurring the backdrop around the somebody's face. It's perfect for portraits. We can blur backdrop around somebody. But take a look. There's something like mode on it. And we can change from this elliptical mode into tilt shift mode. That's what we need, right? You click on that and we got horizontal lines across. So we can put this focus point, whatever we need. And then we can even modify the blur area as you need. All right, let's add some radius to it so we can see the blur on it. And as you can see, the bottom and the top is blurring out when the sharp focus point is in the center. So the center is sh still sharp and we can adjust that. We can modify that with those lines. We can make the center point larger as well. Hold shift so it will not tilt left and right. All right, and we can also add vibrance and a clarity so we can have even more like this miniature feel to it because this this kind of blur give us this miniature like feel all right and then you click apply and that's our nice tilt shift blur with just one filter all right so now we know how to use it let's try it again on this picture i will zoom out a little bit using the shortcut command plus all right and again, same thing. Filter, blur, depth of field blur. And now we need to change the mode from elliptical to tilt shift. Add radius. As you can see, it's blurring the image. But we got a great control here. We can move the we can move the sharp point lower if we need or higher. That's up to us. We can even add some vibrance and clarity just from here. All right. 
And this way we can apply this blur with one click and it's give us this miniature like look in seconds. I hope this video is helpful and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.